in your stance. Where should we go next then? Should, there, should we look for more shrines or should we start going to those towers? Because if we go to the towers, we should just be able to fly from there to more shrines, I guess. Um, like, what well, we've marked the ones in the south right, didn't we? Like, earlier, on top of the plateau. So maybe we want to go there. Oh, we'll stretch. Oh, uh, let's go. Oh, have we still not gotten this? Man. Man, we should probably get that, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's, let's, let's get this. <laughs> Didn't we try to go there before, but it started raining? Like, that was a- like, we, we went, like, across the whole desert to get there. And then it was like, no, it's- it's going to rain now. If you have a fairy, help you cook. The tonic you produce together restores a great deal of hearts. Oh, so the idea is you don't actually cook the fairy itself, you cook with it. Like, it pulls out a little spoon out of its bottom and, like, kind of just kind of gives it a little stir, like a kind of half-hearted, like, oh, yes, that's all right. And you're like, holy shit, tripled the power of my brew. Epic. Gaming. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's just here. Well, that's handy. Just having the camel just kind of sit here next to the shot. That's like, hey, Woolen, we know you didn't get the tower earlier when everyone else in the game did. So now we're just going to teleport you there. Oh, is this a Korok? Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> hee hee, you found me. No, okay. Oh, this is the one that you need the boost to make it easier for, right? Otherwise, you have to spend eight years climbing. Let's do that. Like, oh, this tower is so high up. How are you ever going to reach it? My legs aren't that long. I know how you do it. Look. Crouch here for a second. Zoom. Up we go. Skip the whole tower. Oh, just made it. Wasteland Tower. Your dog peed itself in its bed. That's not very nice. You should go and t like, you know, make sure to rehydrate your dog. Take it for a nice walk, perhaps? Teach it how to use a toilet like the rest of humanity. Lazy dog. There we go. Look, there's the camel. Even he knows how to wee on the side of a cliff. No one's going to be sitting there. Yep. Can't wait to get some, can't wait to get some of that tower juice in my iPod. Oh. I can feel it. It's on its way. Oh, there we go. I love that, like, drippy noise it makes. Yep. Mmm. Thanks, stay hydrated bot. Tower form. Doo 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 doo. You did it. Wow, this area has actually got nothing in it. Nice. Do you guys not want to do the labyrinth, like, while we're here? Because we could, we could go to the labyrinth. We started doing it and then we gave up because we got tired of it. But like, we could just go and do the labyrinth while we're here. That sounds like fun. There's like three or four of those, aren't there? There's one in the very top left and one in the very top right of the world. Also, I'm pretty sure that this is faster. Sweet, sweet tower love nectar. Is that one of those references to one of those shows that people like to watch? Not sure how I feel about that. Divine Beast is taking aim at Calamity Ganon. It's too dangerous to go near. What? What are you doing? I just want to walk around- what? I just want to walk around it. I was in that thing earlier. Like, I was moving it around, I was solving puzzles, opening chests. Was it just- That's it? I just can't go near that thing again? Okay, sure. <whistles> Goodbye area. You will not really be missed. You're about two square foot long. Bigger than any house I could ever own, but you know. Uh, it's all it's all the way over here. Okay. Oh, I see it. Because we can like cheese it big time, can't we? With the zoom up. Are they saying that we're out of zooms? It'll probably take a little while to recharge, won't they? I don't even remember what half these are. Like one of them brings you back to life. I'm assuming that's the elephant. The camel one is like an area of effect attack that I've never ever used. The lizard one is the really awful shield that does nothing. And then the bird is the gale. The gale won't help you much in this labyrinth. That's fair. At least we came here with like more resources the last time. We'll be able to scale it well. Hello. Hi, Cornpuff. 
Always happy to read your name in chat. It's a satisfying one to see. Oh look, there's a big old didgeridoo with legs over there. Do, 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 do. Camo's the best insta stun on any enemy. Really? Is that the one that um No, I'm thinking of something. I'm thinking of like the lightning sword. People said it's really useful. Whoop whoop. So let's figure out how to do this. Because we got really lost in here last time. I still don't quite I'm guessing there is like there's just a shrine in here. We can use this echolocation thing to discover where it is. Maybe it's in one of these little inner sanctums. Look somewhere over here, perhaps. Don't really know where I'm going in here, if I'm honest. Perfect timing. Oh, staircase. The Bursa's lightning ability does like 500 damages on all enemies in its radius and stuns them. That does sound amazing. The Master Sword- well, that took like 5 minutes. I really should be using this thing more often. So where am I trying to go in here exactly? Other than just around, obviously. Like, is there a- I'm assuming the shrine's in here somewhere, right? We should also save. We haven't saved in uh, an hour and a half. We should probably just do that. There we go. We need to find a, like, a different entrance, because this one isn't going to work. The center. So we want to be underneath that thing there, I guess. That makes sense. Is it one of those like labyrinths where once you've done it once, it's really easy to remember your way back around, or is it always a bit tricky? Like the uh, poison gym in Pokemon Blue, where you had to like tilt the Game Boy screen a bit to actually see your way around it. But like once you've been through it a couple of times, you generally remember the path. I see. So you need to you want to get under the roof, don't you? Oh, oh, cool, hello. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four. Ouch! Not my extra. There's a secret entrance. Yeah, you can climb the walls. I'm aware. I think that's what that's what we did last time when we tried to do it. We tried to like cheese the whole thing with our limited stamina. Like, I think we've been in here. We'll probably find area- unless the chests respawn, we'll probably find open chests from when we used this before. What is that? Is that a bow- is that one of those desert bows that we could use Magnesis to grab a hole? Like a golden bow or whatever? How far can we go in here? Oh, we can walk all the way up here, I guess. I want this. No, I can need that though. What do we dump for it? Um, Cause this is the sniper bow. Attack up plus six. Falcon bow. We pr we don't need this. There we go. Just drink a bunch of leek and potato stew to get infinite stamina. I should remember. Like I don't know like a lot of the recipes that people do. So I just kind of. Rubbish it a bunch. What's this? It's like a checkpoint. It's like, hey, you've made it here. Keep going, bucko. I guess we really could have just dropped in around the middle. Oh wait, this isn't Skyrim. Is that a Skyrim thing? And... Because there's definitely more inner sections than just this. We had to like climb over a bunch of the purple goo at some points and it got a bit annoying. Endura carrots are really good. They're always found around always great fairy fountains. Thanks, man. Oh, you got all three of them back as well. Oh, this is it. That was that was not bad at all. I don't know why I didn't just do this the first time. I guess I got bored of running around and just gave up. Is this just going to be one of those ones where they give it to you for free? Because it's like, oh, the challenge beforehand is the shrine. Ah... Which makes sense. It's why they keep all the shrines that you normally do small. is because they're still big puzzles. And the big puzzle itself is the shrine. That makes sense to me. It still makes the world feel like it's been used. 
Unlike like the Fallout New Vegas overworld or like the Twilight Princess one where it barely had anything in it. I think like Twilight Princess's main area had like barbarian armor. Attack up. That's awesome. Sweet. Okay, cool. It, um, like Twilight Princess had like most of its areas that had like a single heart piece in it. Or like one uh, cavern in it. It'll take you way longer. Well, the thing is, that was what? Five, five minutes, maybe? I think the last time we came through here, we spent like 20 minutes in it doing nothing at all. So that wasn't too bad. You're gonna bump us out the bum. Out the bottom. Out the door, I should say. So we've done this. Should we try and do the other labyrinths, maybe? I don't know what they are, but I just know that they were at the top sides of the screen. Like we marked them, but didn't actually do anything to them. That, or I guess we could do more desert stuff. I know there was a giant desert. Like, I remember watching a bit of ZFG playing on the desert, and there was like a giant shrine. I don't know where it was, but it was just like in the middle, there was like this giant, like, area. Like a bit like in uh, the Ocarina of Time, you know? Uh, I don't know where it would be, to be honest. Maybe in here? It's like this section here with all the statues. I think this was a shrine. The other labyrinths are the same deal. Okay, cool. Also, hi, Nat. Hello. Hello, even. Let's try and do this, then. Now, I don't remember... I, I think I, I think he didn't finish it, so I have no idea how you do the puzzle, but I remember he was on it for, like, an hour. There's a few shrines in there. Okay. I think he got some, like, Gerudo gear from it? Of some kind? I don't remember what. Like a cutlass. The statues have one shrine, yeah. Okay, let's do that. It's like, I was gonna say Black Mesa. The desert... Is it just called the Desert Mesa? What's it called? In Ocarina of Time. The the, you know, the area outside the Spirit Temple. With like the single great fairy fountain and the oasis. With a heart piece in it. And a skull chiller. Is that a butterfly? I've got really good vision. It's a really simple puzzle that takes a while because the statues are really tall and climbing them takes a while. Oh fair. Well we can see if we can... We can save from up here. Just because we can. Have a look. Can we see anything of interest on them already? Or is it like something marked on the floor? They've got swords. Anything differentiating them? This one's buckle has an icon on it, and this one has no face. Okay. Oh! Do we literally just climb them and push the ball down? I don't know what this is. Time to buckle up then. Was that... Was that it? Or do they all have an orb on them? Alright then. Don't I've got like the... Um, holy shit. <laughs> My legs. I've got the... Wind ability, so if I have to climb them again, it shouldn't take too long. That was really satisfying. So is that it? We just need to put all the orbs into- the orbs are just scattered around the ground. Okay, that's fair. So, you don't have to climb all of them, we just had to climb the one that had one stuck in- Oh, is this gonna be like a- whoop. Each of the orbs need to satisfyingly fall in here. PG-89. God, that is a very inappropriate film if you have to be 89 or over to see it. I guess you can also cheat a bit and use Magnesis. Match the symbols! They have symbols on them? Oh, you're right, this one's got like the fire symbol on it. Didn't even notice. Where's the symbol located? Is it on the... Oh, I see. I see. So what we're going to do is to solve this puzzle. We're going to do it the most efficient way possible. As I have not done the puzzle before and I don't know the actual solution. I, mean, I, know, I know what the solution is, but I don't know where everything goes exactly. 
I'm gonna gather all the orbs in the very middle and then just match them up one by one. I think that's like the most efficient way to use like, time and space here. So the one we've got is from like the north, so it must have been like this one, right? Or that one? It's this one. That's fine. I'm not gonna try and round the balls randomly, no. I'm going to grab all of them and then look at the symbols. I guess it just took him a while because he was climbing forever. Uh, how many do we need, sorry? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, I can't tell if that's one or two in the middle there. Oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need one more. We'll find that one later, I guess. It might be up at the top of one of them. We're not trying to kit fit the square into the triangle hole, don't worry. Although I might. I think it might be fun. So this one is S. Which one of you is S? Do we have S? We don't have S. Okay, that's the one we'll need to find then. Oh, well, you need to climb them to figure out what symbol goes in what. Oh man, yeah, that is a problem, isn't it? This one is uh, two. Which is this. This is the domino sphere. The most tedious part is locating the symbols. That makes sense. Let's do that. We need to put it go in the hole. Oh, there's... Oh. Is this the S? No, this is L. I guess one of them was already in one of the holes, but it was just incorrect. So that's that one done. Uh, which one was on there? Do you remember? Because I do not. I cannot see. They've all got the symbol on them somewhere. This one's sword broke, so maybe it's just like behind it, like here. Oh, there it is, yeah. This one has donut. <laughs> this this might be a little bit of a long puzzle, so if anyone in chat feels like it, they need to get like water or something, or like a snack, might be a good time. I think we're just going to be doing this for about five minutes. Maybe ten. Depends how long it takes us to finish this. So that's donut done. This one's S. We don't have S. That one I can't see from the ground. That one I can't see. That one I can't see. Okay. Maybe it's like behind the sword on this one? Hey, Porky. Is it on his... It's not. Hey, Donut. <laughs> Inappropriate. That's not a symbol there, is it? No. I guess we just have to look at all the statues to try and figure out where they could be. I'm, I'm assuming you can't just teleport out of the area, right? Like, it's they just don't let you do that. That makes this a little bit easier. Like they, they don't just let you teleport back up to the top to fly down to make it easier, do you? It sounded better in your head. It's very inappropriate. How have you been doing, Porking? Have you been enjoying yourself? Been playing more video games? I saw you on CJ's stream on the other team playing Highlander. What's up with that? Is he on top of it, maybe? Let's climb. Good thing Link can climb any surface. His powerful grip. Like a frog. Well, okay. Can we see anything from up here? His, his right foot? That one is like an eye. Okay, south is eye. Fire is that one, I guess. S. We're missing some of the balls. I have no idea what the other- is the other one just on this tower? That's why it's got a torch on it, or what? Because I don't see anything on the ground other than the- wait, have we got enough? One, two, one, two, three. Oh, we might not have all of them, actually. Farm, in it. You been enjoying the farm? You been doing some good- I don't actually know what you do on your farm. Is it a normal? Is this is a this is this is a carrot. So let's try and do carrot. 
This one's carrot. The puzzle resets if you do. Oh, that's annoying. This is carrot. I think that was this one. That one didn't go in. It's awful, you can't wait to get into a new flat. What are you going to do? Are you moving, like, f miles away? Because are you not also going into your final year of uni? Um, which one was fire, did we say? Did we say south was fire? Like this one. No, we've done that one. I have no idea, then. <laughs> God, this is a bit of a tedious, tedious puzzle, isn't it? can't quite see what it is. Uni flat. Fair? Are you moving in with friends? Or are you doing what I'm doing? Which is the opposite of that. Uh, you know, let's just reclimb them. I could get, I've got a bit of paper next to me I could use to write down what the answer is. Let's just do this again. Nah, flat. Now as in you're living by yourself, or na you're like me. That's good to hear. Are you still like, go? Are you still living like in the same area though? Presumably, you hate random people. I agree. I've got the same priority housing wise. Oh. Are you moving into like a one bedroom or a studio then? Please don't fall off. Thank you. You refilled your glass. I'm glad to hear it. We are in the desert, so we'll get. Oh, that's not right. You'll get thirsty if you don't. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use a piece of- I'm gonna use a pen and paper. Like this is an RPG from 1990. I really don't want to waste my stamina. Anymore. No, 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 no. Sweet. Let me get my- I've got my- I've got a piece of paper here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write it out. Studio! Yeah. Can you send me pictures of your flat when you've got it? I'd be really interested to see. Have you already got like the bits and pieces for it? Like all the IKEA stuff. So we've got um this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. You can't see what I'm drawing, obviously, but it helps for me to recognise what it is I'm doing. You've got one point five litre water bottle next to you. You almost never have to go on small trips. So you never have to go on small trips. That's fair. I usually have like a water filter, a glass of water, and a water bottle on me. Cause like streaming for three hours in a row is pretty tiring as is. So I think we've done that one, but I'll mark it just anyway. Streaming without drinking is painful. So this one here is I I. I think we've done that one. But I'll mark it. This one over here. I cannot see. Oh. Is that fire? That one's got it on its toe. So the one we're staring at here is the one after the gap. So it's this one. I think this one has it on its toe. It might be fire, but I'm unsure. This one here is carrot, which is the directly opposite of us, which is here. Here we go. I'm looking at feet. Yeah, don't tell Kate. This one, I think we've done. We can actually see, can't we? We can see which ones we've done. So we've done... I've kind of drawn this map in a bit of a weird way, but it makes sense. We think we've done this one. We think we've done this one, whatever it is. We think we've done that one. We think we've done that one. We just need to do... Wait, we put carrot in the wrong one, then. That one there's carrot, definitely, isn't it? Yeah? I, ca I can't really see on my sc my screen. Where did you have... You had it on your toe, didn't you? No, wait, that one isn't carrot. That one's fire. I've messed it up. No, I haven't messed it up. I'm an idiot. No, I'm completely right. Never mind. I've just drawn my map in a really bad way. One, two, three, one, two, three. What have I drawn? What am I looking at? <laughs> we need to figure out what to put in that one. That one you put the weird fire thing into. We also need to figure out what to put into the one just to my right. This one, I'm sure we can figure out just by climbing it, right? You're going to say this is a pretty nice and chill stream. Thanks, Cornpuff. Um, where is it? 
those of you that's missed it, we're just looking for the symbol on it. Hacking Zoom happened to the emote's name differently. Yeah, I changed my prefix. I, I asked the admins to change my prefix from a woolly, which it was when I was like affiliate, uh, to woolen. So it's a bit easier to write. And I changed some of the names of the emotes to make them a bit easier to write. Oh, this one's really easy. This one's like S. So we need to do S and fire are the two we have left to do, I guess. Or like some of the two we have to do left. So S, we did have S. I was just wrong. S goes here. So we mark him off. And then we have, should we have like fire? We should have fire. Yep. Fire should go here. I actually kind of like these kinds of puzzles. I know this, like in this game particularly, it takes a little while to do. But like, I really like it when they actually, like it helps you to get a pen and paper out. Something about it just feels really fun. So this one uh, goes in one of these, maybe. I don't remember which. Is this the one directly below my feet, I think? In here, maybe. Unless it doesn't, and this is the other fire one, and we just, I think we might just flick them around. I think that's right. Nah, I think that's incorrect. I think we need to flick this one around with the one directly opposite it. So this one needs to go over there. And this one needs to come over here. We got rid of the hee hee doggo because about four people used it last month. And I spent a couple of hours drawing a new one. So this one's actually fire. I guess maybe this one's more water shaped. He will be missed. Oh, oh sad. I really like the oh no emote, or the sad emote, whatever you want to call it. I mean, no, if we get like super famous on Twitch and we get a thousand emote slots, I'm happy to bring back whatever one you want. <laughs> it's just right now we're always limited by what we have. I think this should be fine. Unless I've missed something. Sorry, not this one. Is it this one? It doesn't really work when you, your drawing doesn't work, but you know. Is that incorrect? Okay, now this is when it becomes tedious, is like, you have to error check all of them. <laughs> Thanks, stay hydrated, Bart. So, let's look at this thing's foot. What does this thing have on its foot? I think it was right the first time, wasn't it? Stay hydrated, Bot's great. Okay, so I'm going to redraw the statues, because I've just apparently mishandled this whole situation. We have... One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. The bottom left one is actually colon. So we, we, we were actually right the first time. This one is... What did we mark this one as originally? We said this one was aster... Oh, we said this one was carrot. I can't look up any further than this. I think this is definitely carrot though. So I'll draw this one as carrot. What did we say the north one was? I marked it as double. I marked it incorrect. The north one is actually donut. That must make this one the double. Somewhere. Yeah, this one's double. And that leaves the bottom right three as being... something. <laughs> I have no idea. But we need to make sure that the donut, the top, top one's actually donut. Is this one donut? I think it is, isn't it? That's definitely Donut. This is definitely Carrot. So these three must be right. One, two, three. It can just get to a point where it's probably faster to trial and error the final ones than to actually climb the statues. This one should be double. That one's correct. So the final right three, one of these is incorrect. Or I'm missing something about like this like a button I need to press or something. So this one I have down as being... Oh, no, no, that's that's wrong. We need to we need to move these back to their original places. This might just actually do it then. It shouldn't. This should this should make this one correct. And then we just need to flip around the right hand side too. And that should like That should like objectively solve the puzzle. Because there's only two left that we haven't correctly done. And those two are clearly both in the incorrect positions. So they must be in each other's position. You know? You can't st static cast from donut to double, silly. 
But I'm gonna try. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna add a bunch of asterisks and kind of hope that it works, you know, maybe. So solving the puzzle and this, that does it. Should be the case of just switching these two around. Well, I hope this does solve it. Excuse me. Oh god, New Progress, what have you done? What have you done to that poor dog? That didn't do it? Really? That didn't do it. We've marked all- do we have to do something else? We've marked them all off on the piece of paper. I'm not missing one, am I? Man. <laughs> so, which one is, um... I haven't even seen that symbol yet, Christ. What even is that? That is a real Onoe. This one looks like it's more like a pair of buttocks. Check if balls are positioned in the holes. Yeah, I don't think that's right. I think we were right the first time. No, actually, no. This is S. Couldn't we see S from the ground? Am I dying from heat? Oh shit. Uh, let's equip our trap armor. That's not right. We need to put S in its right position. This one's definitely right. Like, I'm definitely certain that the top three... Like, this one's definitely asterisk. That one's definitely carrot. That one's definitely donut. This one's definitely double circles, right? Because you can just see it from the... If, like, they want to clear up on the fog effects. What is that? Is that a Korok? I reckon I can hit it from here. Huh. <laughs> yeah. -ha -ha. I could spend three hours trying every single combination. This one's definitely so like the top the top four are definitely correct. It's one of these final three that are incorrect. Like the the you know three o'clock Four and a half o'clock, six o'clock. This one, I guess you could call... Instead of calling it that, you could call it like water or something. No, this one's S. So... Th call three o'clock S, if that helps. I don't know if it does. So I guess instead of the last two being incorrect, it was the last three that were incorrect. And it takes a little bit more fiddling to fix. Is the combination different every time you play through the game, or is it the kind of thing that people just Google when they get bored of it? It's just because it's faster. Let's try this one in here, and if it's not, we'll flip them around. That didn't do it. So it means that the weird bumhole looking thing is actually the bottom side of this spaceship. No, it's the same every time. Okay. I'm assuming in like more second playthroughs, people just look it up, don't they? They're like, I've always solved this. It took me 10 minutes to solve this last time. Is that it? There we go. We could do it eventually. How long did that take? Anyone got like a counter? I see what you meant by it being um, a little tedious, but that was fine. You know, we only have to do it once. I do kind of enjoy these kinds of things. You even get to see the payoff at the end where our trumpet comes out of the ground. All dusty and ready for some fun. Uptime. Well, like, just scroll up through the comments section and see when someone said, like, we started talking about the, uh, the puzzle ahead. It took two years, six days. Man. Well, like, I can just do that. If I just scroll up through the chat, we can see, uh... Match the symbols. It's taken us about 20 minutes? Yeah, that was, that was probably the longest we'd spent on a puzzle, maybe. I can't think of a longer one right now. There might have been like some shrine where we got stuck on for a while. That was quite a while to spend on a shrine. I hope the payoff was worth it. Yeah, you step foot in 
Porsche oh, oh, oh. There we go. Yeah. I'd say that's worth it. Flame Spear's awesome. Let's dump our shit sword. Wrong weapon. We need to buy a shitload of arrows next time we're in a merchant. Nice. Oof, that's nice. Let's use this for now. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, I guess theoretically we should use the Master Sword because it regens, but you know. That's good. Oh, four. We can go get more health and maybe try the island. Because we've got a bunch of health now. Like, it's not, um, it's not like we needed to do any upgrading side quests or anything. It's just the point where you do the island, you need enough health to survive maybe a hit or two while you're actually there. Tr critical hit weapons do double damage after a combo, just so you know. So if you spam Y, you do, like, a bunch of damage. Does that also mean when it breaks, it does, like, 400 damage or something? So I don't know about you, chat. <laughs> Bit sick of the desert now. Let's go somewhere else. I don't know how many shrines there are in the desert. People used to, like, complain, I think, that there weren't enough. So I'm guessing that there's only, like, another four, maybe, in this area. So, instead of that, let's go and... Where, how, where was the... Was it this? Was it this island? I can't be right, can it? Can we just teleport there? All the thing I hope is that the heavy update adds a minigun that doesn't do any damage, but if you shoot it at the ground behind yourself, you'll fly off really fast mid-air, and it will yell poot really, really quickly instead of making the bullet sound effect. So you just hear like poop, 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 poop. The major ch test strength guardians have like 3,000 health. Oh, so maybe we shouldn't do this, but like the actual uh, that over there. This was where we wanted to be, wasn't it? We tried doing it before, but we didn't have enough stuff for it. Yeah, call it the Rocket Pooter. And then I'll also add like a pair of shoes for the heavy called the Wee Pooties. That allow him to run one hammer unit faster, but replace his footsteps with just the word Poot Poot. Poot Poot. That'd be pretty good. The sale had a bit of a weird time. I need to remember the timing. There was like a timing for this, wasn't there? For the sale. One, two, one. Is it like this? I think this is the timing, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Get there nice and fast. Just like when- you just want to avoid doing the second attack, I guess. I'm like watching the leaf on the left to see when it starts coming back and then I'm hitting the button again. Seems to give us the best speed boost. Imagine if you could mark a garden as heavy. Just make it so his fists have a 100% crit chance and remove every other instance of crits from the game. There would be no reason to play any other class. I should save before I come here. Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Tell Croto. He loves Sea of Thieves. Hello there. You're not going to teleport us when we... Do we have to get off the boat for the thing to start? Yeah, I travel to the island. What happens to, like, natives who come here from Zelda? Yeah, I've been relying on equipment. Do we still get our... I'm assuming we still have our hang glider, don't we? 93 million viewers. Yep. We have the entire country of the United States of America watching me play Zelda. And they're all really upset about something. Oh, crab! Take, take crab! He will be ours now. So if I remember last time, there was like... Oh god, I just murdered him! That was brutal. It was like a like an animal. So we need to bring the Hinox orb there, don't we? Do we still have the hang glider? I need to check. I think most of the viewers are just from hosts and stuff, aren't they? Hey, chat. If you're in chat, say chat. There you go. Tree branch. We've also got like really good bombs now, so we could use that to kill the enemies that normally spawn around here. Spy crabbery. Yeah, here we go, there's a boat wall here. Chat. Oh yeah, I see one person posting chat. That's good enough. Let's try this. Yep. 
You love football, don't you guys? Go look at the football. Look, the football. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they just get blown up. Christ almighty. That was brutal. And we got baked palm fruit. No, don't burn the Boku no spear now. Come back here. Rusty shield. I mean, the boat was the best thing, isn't it? And we do this. Oh, look at all the durian fruit. Come back here. Man, that'll make some good stuff. Luckily, it's not raining on this island, so we can actually do stuff. The voting for the emotes is now unbalanced, is it? Oh, Traveler's Sword, W Sword. That's alright. Uh, we can cook this by putting it on the floor and hoping they don't burn. They need to be close on that. We've done this before. We just need to like put it near the fire, don't we? There's a chance they'll just burn out, but... What I want is just to make baked palm fruit so we've got some health regen. Let's also do this. I'm surprised that like the bla the blackened crab is like the correct one. But okay, I'll take your word on it. One. Two. Okay. I don't know if it can rain here, can it? You need to procure the loops. Might just hold it out over the fire without letting go. I'm not joking, but is that actually something you can do? Like holding like a something immolated in your bare hands in this game? Like, do they let you do that? Does it not make Link go, oof, no, my hands, ouch. Are there any Koroks on this island? Probably not, right? There's a Hinox over here that murdered us last time, isn't there? But you can like fly over to him and nick the sword around his neck, can't you? There's another ore over here, yeah, there we go. I think we'll be good enough for like food and stuff now. What's that? That was one of those river boys. That's alright. Rusty Claymore. That's useful. I want to make sure we've got enough space when we go over to him. If I also remember, there's also something at the very top that we need. I don't quite remember what it was though. Like there was a fight. Reminds me of the Animal Crossing New Leaf Island. Where Link fights a bunch of moblins. <laughs> Jesus, these bombs do so much damage now. I just want to blow up the chew jelly because I don't like it. I like how I didn't notice it until now, but he actually pulls out his phone bike behind him. To um explode the stuff. Kaboom! Man, bombs are good. Oh, it does rain. Never mind. We can solve that riddle. That makes this a little bit harder. You're away for ten minutes and suddenly there's a beach episode of Wooden Streaming Zelda. Yeah, people are always saying, when's the beach episode coming out? We're looking forward to it. Is there durians growing? Do durians grow on trees? Uh, of course they do. They must, right? I've never questioned- Oh, hello. I've never questioned it, but I guess they do, right? They're like a desert- Oh, sorry. They're like a jungle fruit, aren't they? They really smell. Meet the demo men. We've got the steak, don't worry. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, he. Oh, shit. Let's pull out this and nothing. Well, that one's lost. There's a little bit of fruit lying around, actually. I'm glad they added a tent to everything. Improves my video gaming experience. So, isn't there a core on the Hinox, right? Like, if we just do this, be a bit cheeky about it. Like, no fear, no fear. We just detach that from him and then run the Christ away. Like, just never stop running. And you'll never have any problems ever. Because he can't run. He's a fat boy. He's thick. Yeah, last time we did this, we did try to push the rocks to kill the Hinox, but like, we spent forever doing it and they didn't really do anything significant. 
They figured it wasn't the best idea. It wasn't the best use of time, I should say. I don't know if this, like these do any damage. I want you to climb up here, because then it means I can run behind you and grab the other thing. I think I missed him with that, didn't I? Alright, so now we let him climb up here, and then we just fly all the way down, grab the orb and run away with it. Now we just run out of his line of sight, he should forget about us eventually. Like, there's some island monsters that might see us, but I'm not worried about that. Look, the health bar's gone away. Oh, hello, Sky Choo Choo's. Do I have stasis upgraded? I think I do now, yeah. I didn't last time I came here. Is he still up at the top of that mountain, you reckon? Or is he respawned down there? He must still be at the top, right? Does he walk down this way or does he jump off the cliff? What do you reckon? You can outspeed the Hinox when you hold the core so you can just grab the core and run. Okay. I thought I had to actually run glitch. I hope he's not like stealth hiding up here somewhere. Where did he go? He must have respawned, right? Like, I can't imagine what else he's done. Do -do 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 -do. Pot lid. Yeah, he respawned. Look, I can try and roll these down there, but... We're probably better off, like, hit making him get hit by lightning, right? Like, dropping a metal shield next to him. God, he really does sleep, doesn't he? Like a tree just fell on him, he just does not give him monkeys. Wasn't there a sword on you last time? Oh. It... I could swear that he had like a sword on him. You love the rolling stones. <laughs> oh, like he's even got like a little neck beard. Wait, can I take a selfie with him? Fucking hell. <laughs> I want to take a selfie quickly. Get up, get up, get up. Hell yeah. Uh... Oh, is that a... Oh, it's a wind current. See you later, smelly. No, it's no longer a wind current. You still smell, though. Look, come and fight these... Boko boys. You could stasis the boulders and knock them into the guy after hitting the boulders for a while. I guess, but... I don't know. I don't think it's too too much of a worry. We can use Magnesis to grab you. I don't know why I'd want it. It doesn't do very much damage, but I'll take it. Oh, hello! Nice. Boku Bat, that's nice. Is that cow? I don't think male balls make that sound effect, Nintendo. Okay, so we also need to attack the... Oh god, it's a blood moon. Could you not? <laughs> could, you, could you do that another time, maybe? So we need to probably take this one to the start of the island, I reckon. Hey there. Doo -doo. I love the demo man. He's my favourite Zelda. Come on. <laughs> what a numpty. Who would run at something shiny? Just because it's there. Stop. So loud. Oh, a free arrow. Blood Moon Monka S. They're just going to respawn in five seconds anyway, aren't they? Might as well throw this off and see if it explodes into arrows. That's not right. Please do not respawn the boys on me. So where was the front of the- oh, we can't see. <laughs> We're literally in the middle of nowhere, okay. Oh, I'm on fire now. Oh, that's why there's an updraft. Oh god, he pulled up my- okay. We need to go to the start, because there was one of those little platforms for this, wasn't there? Can we get there from here? I think we need to run up to the main forest, don't we? NG main. Nice immolation, my boy. 
I don't... I really wish we could see the island. Maybe we could if we had the map for this... There's probably no map for this area, right? No, there must be. I was thinking it was the sea. There's no map. But there, there probably is, isn't there? I just never got it. Don't you dare. I see you there. I see you looting. I'm not looting. There is an area map. Okay. We're just missing it. Can we see it from here? And like tag it, maybe? Like twitch.tv forward slash tag. TV. I don't remember his Twitch username, to be honest. I host him a lot, but... Is it just that guy tag, isn't it? Oh, crap! Crap! No, 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 no! No, 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 you don't need to do this. You can... You can stop this immediately. It is that guy tag. Yeah. Well... Time to try and get a vampire knife. Yep, Blood Moon. That's just, that's just great. Please do not despawn the thing I'm holding in my- thank you. I was a little worried that they were going to despawn the ball in my hands. How do I get that there? These aren't magnetic, are they? Is this shallow enough? No. Am I going to have to like stasis and hit it or am I going to have to get the raft? What do you reckon, chat? Cryonis? Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. How does that help? That doesn't help. Like, unless I put this here and it doesn't roll away. I can do that, I guess, technically. It's a bit cheesy. Can I jump with this? I can. Whoop. That works. That makes me feel smart. And we can't save as much as I would like to. So I actually don't remember any of the rest of the island. I don't think we explored the rest of it. Crab? Oh. Basketball gamer. Aced it. Oh, thanks, chat. I don't know where the others are. It must be on the back end of the island I always ignore, or in the middle of the forest somewhere. The last one's quite a bit tougher. Tougher than a... Hinox? Oh, look at my frame rate, guys. You see this? Beautiful. 60 frames a crisp second on my Nintendo Switch console. Game actually runs at like 30, doesn't it? 24. I don't know. It runs it enough. I'm not really too worried. Oh! Alright then, sure. Yeah, I'll just lose all my health. That's alright. I'm actually not worried about that. Like, that's just cool. That's cool and all, you know? Especially because I had like so much time to react to it. You know, that's just fine. I guess it is an area with like a million mighty bananas in it. You can sneak by the Hinox easily. This bit's going to be harder. This game's beautiful at 60 FPS. I'm surprised the physics don't break. I know you can screw around with uh, whatever the emulator's called. But then you can't play Smash Ultimate on your Switch. You're going to have to buy a Switch anyway, you know. Come on. Thanks for watching, dearie. Have a good evening or night or morning or work or wherever it is you happen to be. Yeah, 59 is just disgusting. Oh, 59 FPS. Ugh. Does that mean he's waking up? I see you. Me up at 2 a.m. going to the fridge to eat a whole bottle of olives. Me at 3.30 a.m. back for more olives. <laughs> I really like that Yoda meme. Like, guaranteed to make me laugh every time I see it. Okay, so I see a Archer Bokoblin, a Black Moblin, a Foot Soldier Moblin, and another Moblin. As well as the thing over there and the thing. And a chest, like, right here. So I guess a couple of things you could do is you could shoot an arrow at those boulders. At those uh, explosive barrels or a bomb. I only have one arrow, and I don't think this will work. I think you. Have, I feel like you have to use fire arrows, but I might be wrong about that. I want to use this. Are they on uh, like a little loop? Aren't they? Let's equip the bat and the shield. 
They have weapons that can one hit you, but you do have Mifa's Grace. Okay. Is it just the Black Moblin really I have to worry about? There's a lot of them. That doesn't just blow up the tower by itself, does it? Well, maybe I can just run away. Look, a ball. Come chase it. Over here. The ball rolls. That's uh, news to me. I guess I can cheese it by just pulling them over here to this cliff edge, one by one. Look at my sticky bomb trap, isn't it great? As long as the big one never sees me, it should be fine. Oh god, I thought that goat was another one coming back for more. <laughs> He's bloody blind, isn't he? How do you use a Brosa's Fury? Do you just charge your sword for longer than expected? Stop. That's just a soldier's claymore, isn't it? Or is his like sharpened or something? Hold why I have run out of charge. Doesn't matter, he's not very good. What I wanted to do was this. That's wrong. Why is this so but barrel's so hard to hit? There you go. Ouch, my face. I guess I might as well heal, right? I'm not going to need it at any other point. How would you have so much HP for just a short boy? Not a good use of my shield, to be honest, but that's alright. He's not chasing too hard. There's a Durian on the floor back there. Hi. It's because you have no armor, it does a bit of damage. It does like 14. You're right, I can use Ravioli's Gale to try to go up to the mountain and cheese him with bombs. I'm gonna do that. Have I lost his interest? I think I have, yeah. Let's try this. Is there anything else up here? Like a Korok or something. So I guess they are just ordinary enemies. It's just showing you the importance of your usual items. That's pretty. I'm afraid of being up here in case they respawn, actually. Not that I think they will, but I just don't trust this game sometimes. Hey there! This wasn't... I don't think this is really going to do much, if I'm honest. They don't seem to go far enough. He's got like no sense of hearing or anything. Maybe if I throw like a axe at him or something, like look. You notice that? Do you notice this? I don't really have any arrows, no. Oh, he noticed that. Look, more. You love bombs, don't you? They're your favourite. Yum, yum, yum. Hmm. Hey, this will kill him. Don't you dare run away. Look, more. You love them, don't you? Ooh. Yum, yum, yum. Nothing quite gives a healthy... Jesus Christ. Do I even need to fight him? <laughs> Can I not just, like, do this? Oh, there's like a million ways I could probably do this, isn't there? Does this just flip it off? Oh, fuck! Where's the ball gone? The ball just zoomed off into the void. I need that. Where do I get another one, please? More loops, father. The loops. Loops. Where are my loops? Oi. 
Does he walk around the bonds on purpose? No, <laughs> he, he does not do that. Is he picking up the shit woodcutter's axe? Nice. He does kind of walk around the bombs, I guess. That means I can like abuse his AI to never actually have to come in contact with it. If I just stand on the other side of the bomb, he's like afraid of walking towards me. Unless it's the closest path. Oh my face. That was really close. Holy shit. Link, 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 no, 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 you cannot do that. The void claims another. I hope that respawns if I just like leave the area and come back. I want more loops, please. His health respawned, and he threw my bomb at my face! He's the smartest boy on this earth. Just gonna sit here and eat some crabs if you don't mind. Some crab, please, father. Is that a big old chunk of meat? Are you just happy to see me? Guess I can just stun you permanently. Oh, I get it. Oh, I don't take damage from bombs because I've got crotch guard armor on. Alright. Just walk to the other end of the island. Please say it respawns if I just walk to the other end of the island. Because I've done all the puzzles. Please. Anyway, look. Stasis on this. And then, like, an explosion on top, like, here. Should, like, fling it down or something. What direction is that going in? That didn't... Okay. Sure. Uh, well, I might as well pick up like, the fruit while we're here, I guess. You could just smack it with your stick. Does it just break? Oh, broadsword. Oh no, what one am I going to toss away? Why don't you go look for it? You don't think it went down too far? Went look at the shore below. Are you sure it didn't just fall into the void? Stasis and smack it. Oh. My other thought was putting a bomb directly below it to like shoot it up, but I figured either way would work. I guess stasis and smack also works. Just like Yes. Oh a dragon bony. Let's just use this then. I have no idea if this is going to do anything. It... <laughs> kinda worked, in a weird way, if you want to say that worked. You can also ride it, yeah, but I'm not going to trust myself with that. Oh no, my Boku bat. Oh, off he goes. Octo balloons work too. Yeah, we did that on one of the last ones. It was pretty cool. Is there actually a beach down there? No, that's just the ocean, man. Take me by the hand. Ocean man, show me where my orb will spawn. Use the cooking pot. It needs to be on fire, and we don't have any way to make fire. Maybe we have, like, a piece of flint or something. Oi. What did that, sh that shatter into like rupees or something? Um, well, I guess we'll just walk to one end of the island and then the other. Like we'll fly there and back and maybe it'll respawn the orb. The orbs, father. Respawn the orbs. Also, I don't think we have octo balloons. We could probably get some. It's still spawned, so unless you can manage to despawn, you got to redo it. What do you mean it's still spawn? How do you know? It's not that, is it? <laughs> is that it? Jesus Christ, it's all the way over there. Unless that's a different one. What the Christ? 
Um, let's try and get like some leaves or something then. Are there any leaves around like this tree? No, that is the one. What on earth? How did it end up there? Yeah! Let's try and blow up like a tree and get like a leaf or something so we can use the tree. So we can use the raft. Because there is a raft. Like over here. Cryonis all the way out there. No, what we'll do is we'll take the raft. <laughs> it's not that far if we like f swim there. I thought I was I was half expecting that just to be like lighting effects. Is it going to let us off the island like this? Is it going to think that we're not doing the puzzle if we do this? Now where is it? <laughs> you play this game for like 108 hours and this is the most confusing thing you've seen happen. How did it get there? It must be like a one in a million chance that it just landed on a thin piece of ground. Like it got blown away by explosions. And it just happens to be looking like it's sitting there in the middle of the ocean. I accidentally hit it with like two explosions at once. It was a bomb, yeah. I'm hoping it, the island will let me get over there. No! What are you doing? You can see what I'm doing! I'm trying to do the challenge! Uh. Um. They get float on water? Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that, do you think that will reset it, maybe? Like, it went out of bounds. Do you think Nintendo were expecting this to happen at any point? <laughs> maybe maybe a little respawned now. It's a pretty sad anime betrayal, if I'm honest, yeah. Well, like, look, that respawned. That axe despawned. So let's try again. We have our flying ability back, so we can do this. Crouching tiger, wait in line. Lies in wait. I don't think it's respawned. I don't see it. Um. What? Oh wait, respawned! Chat. Chat, it's back. It's back, chat. It just hadn't rendered in, which was weird. Because it rendered a mile away in the ocean. But I just guess it didn't render here for some reason. I didn't want to redo this for like a third time. I know it's been like three months since we last tried it. Praise the round. Yeah, praise the orbs. The, the real loops are there in the comments. Please say it's just one Korok. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping it would just be one Korok who says, Tee you found me! And has no other lines of dialogue. Yep. Now the game crashes. <laughs> Very good. I will now return your things as promised. Can you take this, like, crap bag? Thanks. Come, enter the shrine. Excuse me? Was there, was there like, a bit more? <laughs> so, not only did you provide a great meal, but... Do you want to come back for coffee? Sure thing, old hat kid. Bull. It's mine now. I can't ride the bull! I thought if I tapped A next to it, it would let me ride it, but maybe not. Morrison's. Come enter the shrine, we have candy. Thanks, Hackett. As promised, Heavy will now, now a lay eggs in your mouth. Man, the birdheads have the best dialogue in the whole game. Team Fortress 2. Change my mind. Now we go. Into the pit. You lost the things you got on the island. This is so sad. Crabs are gone, but not forgotten. Yeah, those crabs... They're never coming back. Those crabs were lost to the ether. The, the goddess tech took them back. I've also got my cross dressing gear, which is back, which is great. I guess the rendering is only draw distance is only based on things that aren't in memory yet, and once they are, it ignores draw distance for a certain distance. Sure, whatever. <laughs> I was under the impression that it was more like if they've got the memory for it, they'll render it. If it's an important object, they'll render it further away. 
Like, shrines seem to render from a thousand miles. They have like a low LOD version of a shrine that renders from a mile away. Yeah, I, I know. We've done it. Nice. Catherine had all that health up. We have kittens in my basement. Promise. That seems like the kind of thing Hat Kid would say. I trust him. I like that we've also got the full crew here now on the top right. We've got the elephant, the the thing that you hit against the wall as a kid, and it's like kind of sticky. It's like a little rubber toy, and it like smacks down the wall and makes a mark, and your mum gets angry at you. That's what that lizard looks like. Yeah, whatever. So we've done this then. I guess now we can just exist on this island. Are you the champion? Yeah. Yeah. -ha -ha. I love everything, yeah. I love the wind. Now you can go actual zoom for rupees. Ooh. Just watch your safe file become corrupt. That took longer than expected. Um, alright. Oh, it's like Twilight Princess. Let's go this way. Oh, you just have to touch them. You don't actually have to like go through them or anything. We missed one. That's alright. This is pretty cool. That don't Falco. This is kind of like the one, the cuckoo one in Lake Hylia and Twilight Princess. We have to fly down to get rupees and stuff. That one doesn't count. That one doesn't count. Okay. <laughs> I'll come collect you, my fl Oh god! Look at him there! So, <laughs> like, oh. Guess I'm just frozen in time now, then. That's alright. Those are some great hitboxes. <sighs> you bastard. No, I want another one. I can do it. Hi, Violet. We can do this. Fair and square, no. Better hit Reg than Lucio Ball. Yeah, you're great. Whatever. I'm gonna go this way this time. Variety is the spice of life. And also the spice of streaming. But for Christ's sake, we went through that one. Come on. Come on. You're blue feathering me just like this. Jesus Christ. Oh no. Oh God. We did not do anything that time. Hmm. Seems good. Almost as good as the TF2 head hitboxes. Oh, this is a romantic scene. Jesus. No, I want to do one more. I can do it this time. The right side seems to be easier, so we're going to try that. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, let's go this way. And remember what I say, variety is the spice of spices. Do 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 etc. Oh no we go into the updraft. Up we go. Sorry, did this Can we like redo that? We're allowed to just kinda do this. Oh god, that scared me. Oh, that ring does count. It's just a bit weird. I see. That's not cheating, I promise. I'm assuming that is actually like a leather shield, but it's better safe than sorry, really. You can see my nice, like, arms now, though. At least. Oh, there's an updraft, like, right here. I don't... No, I want to go into that one, you see. Just give it a second. Oh, you can just- we can let go of the glide button, okay. What do you want me to do here? We're gonna run out of stamina, man, if you keep doing this. Do I have any- I have like stamina mushrooms, don't I? Uh, not really. 
I'll eat it. Here we go. I don't know if this is doable. We'll try. Anything else that regens stamina? No. Low level movement speed. Whatever. We tried our best. <sighs> oh! Stay there! S stay in- There's just bubbles coming out of the ground, are you sure? <laughs> okay! Oh yeah, we were just flying through the loops. Is this record viewers for a Bottawa stream? I think so. We got hosted by a nice lady once that gave us like a hundred viewers as well. So it's either that time or this time. Aww. A fair showing, but you're not one yet with the ring. Sorry, did I not excite you with my loops? Father. <laughs> oh my god, what a bastard. What a cheeky little rascal. I'm going to freeze you in time forever. Be gone with you. Oh my god. Well, you know what? Maybe I've gained some mutual respect for you. You want more fruit loops? I desire the loops. Let's try and figure out where the tower is for this area then. So I'm assuming if we go into the hat tower, we'll figure it out. I wouldn't show. I wouldn't say I'm blowing up not playing TF2. Um, we're mostly just getting Daniel's hosts, I think. So it's him. It's him. I'm getting his like coffee bits at the bottom that taste really good and other people don't like, but I'm really happy to actually have the end of the coffee because it's like super concentrated coffee. That's what we're having right now. Yeah. I, I, get, I'm like, I normally get a higher numbers playing TF2 still, but like, since I have partner, I don't... Like, numbers mean nothing. Like, chat and me enjoying the video game matters more than the number of viewers right now. Which is great. It just meant that when we were originally getting partner, all those... It's nearly been a year now. But when we were originally trying to go for partner, we physically had to have, like, between 70 and 100 average viewers. And the only way I was going to do that, like, frequently was to... It, I think that's the tower over there. Was to only stream uh, TF2. So that's what we did for, like, a year, was stream, like, daily three or four hours of that game. But then we got partner, so now it's just, like, you know, we can pee around and play whatever we like. And it's all good. It's very fun. It's an enjoyable hobby. I'm a coffee boy. It just makes me sad that I can't drink it in the evening. I guess that's what decaf's for. Maybe I should consider getting into it, but... You know. Tea time. Tea larger than time. We should really also get... Like, I know we got that horse and then just left it... Somewhere. <laughs> Is that it? I don't know. We, we, like, we got a horse and then just left it in the middle of nowhere. We might want to get, like, an actual good horse and stable it. I don't know if you can train them or if they're stuck with the stats you give them or what. Also, now I'm thinking of it, aren't there things we can do now? Like, there was that guy who really wanted us to fly. Which tower was it? Was it was it the tower in this area? He was like a bird guy and he said, um... Hey, can you fly? It was in the middle of a lake. It wasn't this one, was it? He said, Wooly, like, hey, can you fly you for me? The and the whole point is you went to go I will and fly never really far. Oh, float! This. Thanks for the eight months! What have I done to a woolly hee hee? He's gone forever. He's never coming back. Oh, he might come back, but not anytime soon. Maybe it was this one. Tea. Are you all tea people, chat? But thank you for the eight months float. Oh. I need to remember. I don't remember where he was. I thought it was in one of the first areas of the game, so he might want to actually teleport immediately after this to, like, the area just outside the Great Plateau. A woolly hee hee <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Coffee here. Thanks, Cornpuff. You've got- I've got you on my side, at least. Oh, as you like to call it, bean tea! <laughs> I love bean tea. Oh, maybe it is here. <laughs> No, this is a different guy. This is the guy saying, hey, looks a horse or something. Or how did you get up here? No, no, this is you. I was right. Yeah, birdmen are great. Ah. Yeah. He just wants us to fly as far as possible, right? Yeah, okay. Um... Sure. I guess if you have like a full stamina meter, you can probably get really far. 
Does he want us to go anywhere or in that direction? Like, is it... Does it matter? Do we have to go that way, I guess? So we just... Oh, we can just go any distance as long as it's in a straight line. That's fine. So I guess we really want to end up in, like, that gorge over there, because then we'll be able to go even further. Because the land's further down. Most British thing ever. Baked beans pressed into coffee. That sounds revolting. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> oh dear. Bean. Thanks, Hackett. Anywhere. Alright. There's probably like a most efficient path to take then. Now, I... isn't this where we got really annoyed once? Like, we came here and we wanted to climb up the sides and then it immediately started raining the moment we got there. You started playing Darkest Dungeon recently and you need a name for the hero of your main team. Right now I have Ooh Woo 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 and a boy. Any good ideas? You should name one of them Wednesday Frog. And say, well, every time he slays something and it says, A powerful blow. You say, um, It is Wednesday, my dudes. Coffee or tea, why not both at once? There's probably a drink for that. Like, you get mocha with, what, coffee and hot chocolate? Pro oh, we had just enough stamina! Oh man. Like, exactly two bars. Um, anyway, chat. If I remember how to speak English, we have uh, Darkest Dungeon tomorrow, if you're excited for more of that. We started it on, like, Sunday, didn't we? And I said, oh, we'll continue it next week. <laughs> yeah, it was a good flight. We went for 727 LOL. Blue Zenith. I didn't flap my arms once. Um, was that it? I guess you just spend real life time on in-game rupees or something there. Well, we've got like five minutes left, so let's try and think of something to do, just like to fill in a bit of time. Let's go there. Where's that? That's on the Hyrule Ridge. What's the easiest way to get there? Probably to go to this tower and fly down, right? We'll try and do here, see how fast it takes us to do the shrine. If we run like 10 minutes over, that's fine. We'll go there and finish there for today. What is this hero? If you have a wizard, name him Sparkly Pajama Man. Ooh. You have a healer named Wednesday Frog who heals by screaming. That sounds about right. Basically a job, time equals money. I mean, it dep depends what your job is. If it's watching adverts, yeah. If your job is like inputting data or something, you normally have to do more than just kind of wait. Oh, also, we got rid of the hee hee emote because like no one used it. I used it a bit myself, but like the stat tracker, there's a site you can use to see how many times your emotes are used. Like, no one used it at all, and I was like, oh, I want to remake it. But, you know, if we get a bunch of emote slots again, we can always bring it back. Not too much of a trouble. So people said it was only visible through the scope. Is there a way to zoom in and out? Is it just that? Like, that's the thing we marked, is, is this, isn't it? Yeah? Sorry. Uh, that. Is it that? No, that's a different thing. Where's the yellow marker, then? It's like- oh, it's there. I see. Alright. Ah, oh, we should use the bird man. That's fine. It was the only emote you used, you monster. I loved him. Oh, we'll see. We can always bring him back if there's, like, enough, um, desire for him. I'm more than happy to. Like, it depends, like, if you want me to move out one of the other ones. Like, do you want me to get rid of the butter knife emote to bring it back or something? Because I did make- I did spend like hours making that. Feels bad, man. But also no one really uses it. You see it like on a very rare occasion when I'm playing TF2 and get a butter knife. But other than that, no one really seems to use it that much. So we could temporarily get rid of the butter knife emote and bring back the hee hee. But call it ho ho or something just to annoy people. <laughs> we'll see. I can always do like a Discord check or something. Make like an announcement post and say, hey. Thoughts on this? Because people were voting to keep the rabbit emote and the butter knife. We could get rid of both of them and add dog emotes in their places. Remove the gold smug emote. Hey man, if you want me to make the hee hee a $25 emote, I'm more than happy to. <laughs> as long as you're happy to get the tier. I do like the butter knife emote, yeah. It's just also no one really used that one either. Hey, you're not horses. These are, though. They don't have the stamina to grab him. Wait, 
Is this the fastest way to travel now? Just like doing this. Oh, I don't have enough for it. Wait, what armor am I wearing? Cold armor. I don't need that. I need uh this. You like trains? PK is now online. Okay. Oh boy, it's one of these. Wait, what? I only killed like one of them. Oh man. That was cool. We're gonna make so many key swing soups. You'll not need to eat for a month. One hundred dollar tier hee hee moat. Twitch is never gonna add a hundred dollar tier, right? Like I worry for the state of this website if people start like gift subbing a hundred dollar subs to people, then Twitch takes like a ninety percent cut. It'd be wild. I'll be fine, I'll just write out the name and you can just imagine it. <laughs> Willy hee hee. Sadly hee hees. That's alright. Hello. It's TK. Goodbye. I need this. Are you back for more? Do you want to come? Look. Hey there. Oh, damn. That's really fun. It went up for fried key swings. I don't know about that one. A Willy O'Noe. And no one's gotten used to the new thing yet. The fox did a backflip. He did, yeah. He's a uh, Tony Hawk fox. Is that... What is that? Also, do you see that, like, shooting star over there? But, like, what's... What's that? There. Is that the shrine? Oh, there's more of them, are there? Whoops. I just want to hit these with it. That's so satisfying. Like, I cannot put into words how fun it is to, like, blow up a group of, like, 80 mobs. Do I read the recent article about TF2 comp soon? Well, no. It wasn't any new stuff. It was just a bunch of tweets put into a news article. I'd already read the tweets. It's just an updraft. It's like a candy wrapper in an updraft. I think it's real bad, but like other than that, it's not like new content. This stuff's been circulating on Twitter for a while now. I'm glad at least like maybe people realise the fact that it has a, new, a news article written about it, what big of a deal it is. Stop people from writing like, lull on every comment about it. What were we doing here? There was a shrine, but I don't see it. Like our marker's gone or something. May see a flock of keys, you can stasis one of them and the whole flock just disbands. That's a bit sad. Korok? Korok. Yeah. Yaha. Well, you know what? Let's just go there. I don't know what that is. Is that the shooting star? Over there. Yaha. Yeah. When you're done with if and when you're done with the main game, you're gonna get the DLCs. I mean probably, but it's gonna be a long time until I'm done with the game. Like a very long time. We have done like nothing in this location, have we? I guess this is what you have the airburst for, so you can travel around here easily. That must be like the comet, right? Down there on the right? Is that gonna despawn if we do the shrine? Or should we grab that and then do the shrine at the start of the next stream or what? That one's already been marked. Oh! It's this bastard. Damn. <laughs> yeah, no chance. It would despawn if you leave it in daytime. Okay, let's go there. Oh, it's shit. Let's save. Let's go and see what that is then. I'm assuming that's what that is, right? Because people were all telling me, oh, it's really important, you need it. And I've been ignoring them, like, the whole game. I didn't realise they were so easy to see. I was under the impression they might be, like, a single item in the grass. And you had to, like, search for eight years to find it. Hackett has played a lot of this. He's played, like, 500 hours of this game or something. 
That's a lot of video games. Shrine nearby. That's great. I want to grab this thing. I should have more than enough stamina for it. It even makes a sound effect when you go near it. The game's really good, yeah. I'm going to manually climb this wall just to ensure... Yeah, just to ensure I've got enough stamina for it. I could probably jump, but I'm not going to risk it. I, <laughs> I don't have to fly. I, don't, I did a save point, so if I have to, I can fly back, but... Oh, that's good. Is that what that is? It's like a Freddo. Let's just do this. No! Okay, let's try that again, but faster. You have 300 hours on Switch and 200 hours on Wii U and a bit on Simu. Ooh, shiny. I think we just have to be a lot faster. Like, if we fly directly towards it, and, um, like, jump up to it, we can probably get it. Wooljoy was originally based off of the actual hee hee emote, and then I kept drawing it, and I kept drawing it, and it kept turning into other things. And it ended up, someone said add the, like, lol hand to it, and I was like, alright, I'll give it a go. It ended up kind of working, he had, like, a bit of a paw. Oh, well, sad, well, joy. Look at all the emotions I can display through emotes now. Is that a shrine up there on the top right as well? I don't know if we've done that one. It's a worse version of a woolly hee hee. You need to use the emotes if you're sad about them leaving, though. They left the impression that no one wanted it. You're just posting sad dogs now. <laughs> That's okay. We should just make it this time. It was a lot of fun to walk around, explore, and do stuff in your last playthrough. You were on master mode and upgraded all your armor, did all the sword trials and DLC and stuff. That's fair. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Breakfast club. Like SFM poster running animation. That's sweet. Shit, we should have unlocked the shrine. <laughs> well... I guess it's been three hours, so we should probably just end it here, shouldn't we? A woolly not wool floof is the best emote. <laughs> Alright. Well, anyway, look. Don't eat me. Go back into the void. Go in, go in there, look. Ooh. Am I... Am I safe? I'm safe-ish. Like, there's more mortar, like, Pikmin bobbles here. There we go. Collect rock and then stream. That's what my plan is. Look. There we go. We're going to do this. Cool. Um, Thanks for watching the stream today, chat. I hope you enjoyed it. It was pretty fun having, like, 120-odd people watch me play Zelda this week. So thanks for watching. I will see you all tomorrow where we are playing some Darkest Dungeon. Hooray. Thank you. Good evening. Have a good night. Etc. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.